Hey y'all, it's me, Creator Jules. This morning I woke up about an hour outside of Nashville. I stayed with a guy named Paul. He has this little camper out on this huge piece of land. And while it wasn't like the best accommodations, I woke up and just kind of got to see and hear the sounds of nature's. Oh my god, that's a huge bird. I think that was a vulture. What the? Honestly, was feeling so bad about myself this morning. I woke up and was just trying to be positive, but sometimes even for me it's really hard to be positive, especially as an entrepreneur. So I gave my mom a call and I was just like, mom, like I'm really feeling it today. I'm on my period. I am uh, struggling because I don't see the money coming in. It's all just like ifs and maybes. And uh, I am just really struggling right now. And she she laughed a little bit and she goes, honey, that's just the life of an entrepreneur. And your emotions are gonna go up and down and you are gonna feel like you're a failure and you're gonna feel like it's not gonna work out. And then she gave me a story of hers where she was doing sales and one Christmas she had to carry a note for something. It was like a $60,000 note and we weren't about to have Christmas and by God something happened and we had one of our best Christmases ever. And I know I butchered that story but I think the point of what I'm trying to say is that I am... Uh, so grateful that my mom is also an entrepreneur and she is in my life. One of the things I was talking about with my music coach John Rose last night was that my ex made me realize how important my family was. He connected me to them but because when I was with him I thought of my mom as this evil person that, that just didn't understand me and could never understand me and because he wasn't connected to his family. I just thought it would be better that way because there's something that is so important about having your mother just understand you. Um, I'm even trying to reconnect with my dad, but my dad and I don't really have like the relationship where I would call him and tell him that I'm sad. I don't want him to know that right now. I don't know if he can even handle that. I'm gonna head into Nashville. I am going to sit down, I'm gonna edit, I am going to write out a little music plan. Cross your fingers that the people that I spent split sheets to will just get their stuff together and do the split sheets with me because I'm at a point where I really need to release music. I want to so badly. I need another win in my life in order to feel like I am not just a failure of a human, which I know is not true either. It's just one of those days, all. And the truth is, everybody has these days. Everybody has those days. <laughs> Anna Montana looking at us. I'm grateful because I do feel at least supported emotionally now, whereas in my last relationship, I did not feel emotionally supported. And I didn't feel believed in. I'm just really, really grateful that I am in the place of life that I am. I'm headed into Nashville. I'm gonna put on my little witch boots, my John Blue vlogs. And even though I'm a little bit more somber today and I'm a little bit more sad, I'm not gonna let that defeat me. I'm not gonna let that take me down. I'm gonna call my mom. I'm gonna call a friend and uh, I'm gonna talk it through with them. I'm gonna be honest about where I am, how I'm feeling, because when you do that, it allows people to help you the best way they can, or it allows them to listen and be there for you. And I'm just really grateful that I have people in my life like that, because I think over the last two years, I really stopped investing into those relationships because I was scared that it was gonna upset my ex. I will keep y'all informed as I keep on moving forward. I, I love you guys. Thank you for always supporting me and being here.
What's up, y'all? So I'm on Music Row here in Nashville. and training, I would like to get some more experience, so I'm going to see what I need to do in order to get that started and see what the deal is with starting that program. I just spent some time figuring out my psychology graduate degree and seeing how I can get my better health, which is the goal, because that would allow me to do remote work and also feel fulfilled because I'm helping people through their emotions and what they're going through. But I emailed my advisor. I messaged a friend named Misha who has her own practice. I'll promote her somewhere over here. I would be a licensed psychological associate. I just need to take the professional practice in psychology examination and the jurisprudence examination, which she said that, that my school should have given me. So that's why I emailed my advisor about where in the heck of that is going to After that, I do have to get a certain amount of clinical hours, but that's kind of like I know here right now. I'm just proud that I like took the next step in being able to figure out how I'm going to actually get on better health and be able to do that remote work that I really wanted to be doing. That being said, we're going to do the remote work later now, which is only fans. We're going to move on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Move Excel suits that she made with subreddits that are like super niche and cool that don't require verification. And then I met this really cool thing that I could see on Discord today that just really made my day by following me on my socials and getting to know me a little bit, which was really wild. I wasn't expecting that. I checked out my Patreon and I got my first pledge subscriber. I'm like losing it. First $75. That's $75 a month to go in my pocket. That pays like part of my electricity bill. Dang it. Go follow me and subscribe to my Patreon. I even connected with this cafe about doing a meet and greet in September. So uh, we're just like hustling forward. This day started off real sad, but we're pushing forward. There is hope. There is hope, dang it. <laughs> I'm going to make some TikToks and then I'm going to close up and head back to Texas. Love y'all. Okay, ladies, ladies, listen up. I just booked a meet and greet in Nashville for September, baby, and I am super excited about it because you know what? That means that I'm going to promote to Nashville for the next couple of months, and I, I'm going to have a fan base in Nashville, and you best believe I'm going to get 25 to 50 people to show up to that hoe, and I'm going to just kill it. I'm going to kill it. I am already a celebrity, and I am already famous in my mind. The rest of the world is just slowly figuring it out. <laughs> I am Taylor Swift, bitches. <laughs> um, my approach, um, so. All right, it is 2 a.m. and I just made it back to my apartment complex. Pretty excited. I started off this day with feeling pretty crap about myself and by the end of the day I have a meet and greet in Nashville, a potential meet and greet in Denton, 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 and I am uh, one step closer to becoming a therapist and like taking my test and doing the things that I need to be doing in order to achieve that goal. So you know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Also, got some of my split sheets done, which was something that was totally killing me. Anyways, I'm doing it. I'm freaking doing it. One step closer, baby. Love y'all. Stay social. You're all gems. <laughs>